think we're really lucky, both Sydney and I, to be growing up in a time where young women especially are being listened to and encouraged to speak their minds. And I think that's something that Sydney and I both want to act upon because it hasn't really been something that's been available to women in the past. I read for Eliza and after a couple rounds I read with Sydney and just getting my to have my first feature film be not only with Eliza but with such an important and timely story is just such a huge honor. And in more of a conventional way than Sydney. Um, I read for Eliza and after a few rounds I got to test with Sydney and we spent a day kind of doing scenes on the subway and in bathrooms as a way of auditioning. Yeah, I like to try and audition in the world. Right. Um, so excited to have you guys here today. I have to make you do it, Eliza, though. The 101 on the movie for folks out there who do not know what this one's about. Yeah, so the film is called Never, Rarely, Sometimes, Always, and it's about a teenage girl in rural Pennsylvania, played by Sydney Flanagan. 20 more times today, and that was a great start. You nailed it. <laughs> uh, so, Eliza, you are a Sundance pro. First time for the two of you, though, did you or do you have any advice for them to make a similar situation for you, Talia, or when this opportunity came up, you're like, I'm in no matter what? Yeah, and the first time I read the script, it was kind of the same realization that Sydney had. I hadn't seen a story like this before, and after reading how truthful the characters were, I knew that this was something I had to be a part of. <sighs> hmm, that's a tough question. Um, I don't know. I... I was good about writing things down and like taking in the whole experience, so I don't know. I think maybe just like chill out a little bit. Don't stress out so much. <laughs> yeah, I think I would have like tried to find better ways to get more sleep. <laughs> that's a that's a fair thing to have to yeah. learn. He's a really really talented musician, and the first time that we hung out when we did that writing prompt she she showed me her album it was on apple music and i remember like the train ride home i like i was listening because i listened to music on the train i put it in and i was like holy shit like i get to work with this girl and she's just so talented <laughs> now you know what i'm gonna do after this interview yeah <laughs> Can I get you on one, please? Thank you. Thank you. This way, please. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the festival. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tyler. Oops, sorry. Welcome to the case. Thank you. 